This is a video from eSkills Zone. For more videos, notes, and certificates, please visit www.eskillszone.com. Hello and welcome, hi viewers. Today in this video, we will discuss some more basic data types of Java programming language, module number six of our course, A Beginner's Guide to Java. And the data types you're gonna learn today are called double and then boolean and character which is also called cagr char so we will start right from double which is a basic type double information sword is a float with twofold exactness 64 bit I E E E 754 drifting point this information sort is for the most part utilized as the default information sort for decimal points double information sort out to never be utilized for exact values for example money so double and float are always used for money because they are not used for exact values so we always need to type double in small letters because it's a case sensitive language so we always need to type the double keyword in small letters the default value for this data type is 0, 0.0 d and the example is double x equal to 32 1 point four I will discuss next data type which is called boolean of java language very very important all these data types to understand before you start programming because in learning any high level language these are the basic concepts which needs to be cleared in order to learn more about programming about any language so we'll start from boolean boolean once again will be written in small letters information sort speaks to one bit of data any boolean readable can assume one of the two values true or false so actually boolean means two the value can either be true or false this information sort is utilized for basic banners that track genuine false conditions the default value for this data type is false an example is boolean check equal to true so 
we will again write boolean small letters next data type is char char or you can call character use for strings operations char information sort is solitary 16 bit unicode character maximum value for a variable of this data type is double quotes close backslash u four times f or six five five three five comprehensive minimum value for a variable of this type is once again double close close backslash u four times zero or simple zero char information sort is utilized to store any characters example is char text equal to single quote close and a so this is how char can store a character like <coughs> alphabet a from the keyboard now viewers we will discuss one more data types used in java language is called reference data types so we'll discuss about it in this video so let's see how it is used reference variables are made utilizing characters constructors of the classes they are utilized to get two objects these variables are proclaimed to be of a particular data type that cannot be changed a few examples of such data types our employee our dog class objects and different kind of variables go under reference data types default estimation of any reference variables is invalid a reference variable can be utilized to allude to any object of 
the announced sort. And the example is my animal name of the variable whereas the variable can be a new animal and name of the variable is rabbit enclosed in double quotes enclosed in parenthesis followed by line terminator semicolon now we will execute a program in Java language to understand the concept of all these data types discussed above like double boolean character and then reference data types so let's switch to the IDE Eclipse for executing a program in Java language so here we are viewers at Eclipse IDE we will go to the file menu and go to new option from here we will select Java project and here we will type the name of the project as PRG3 so all is set for GRE project layout and working set so we will not change any all of these settings so we will click the next button and from here we will click finish now it asks for the module name we will give the name module name as program but first we will create it and now here you can see the PRG3 here you can see the source folder from here we will do first delete the module and we'll go to the delete option from here and we'll press ok now we'll click at this src folder and right click on it and go to the new option from here we will click class and here we will give the name of this class is as program and we'll click on this public static void mainstream always you need to check this box so we will press on the finish button so here you can see the basic program for Java and here we will give the double forward slashes for this program and we'll type the name as PRG 3 dot Java and here we will type one more comment that description for this program and the description is checking floating data type purpose of this program so we will let the class is class program public and over here we will type public security void main and over here we will type one more method public static void show to show the output of this program and we will type inside it this programming will type the data type declare it as float the data type name and f as the name of the variable and we'll assign 1.0.10 f and then type semicolon then type double forward slashes as the command and type identify a floating value by a suffix so this f is put over here as a suffix whereas the value of 10.10 .10, is assigned to the variable f the data where the whereas the data type is float now we'll type double which is also a type of float and type the name of the variable d and assign value 20.20 and d is used as a suffix so we'll type once again that identify or we can type suffix d for double is optional now we'll type system dot out dot print 
ln which is used to used as to display the output on the screen used in java language so we'll type system dot out dot print ln and then type parenthesis and then type double quotes and type float value and then type plus f now whatever is stored in this variable f will be displayed over here whereas float value is enclosed in double quotes will be displayed as it is on the screen now i'll copy this line and paste over here and then type double value like this and give a column and space and over here a column and space over here we'll type d small d so you should be very careful about it because it's a case sensitive language so we always need to understand we always need to take care of all those variables declared in small or capital letters should be displayed as it is like we have used small f over here with the type declaration of data type float so we have to use f over here likewise we have to type small d over here so we should be very careful while typing the name of the variables over here we will now let the state state wide main method as it is will not make any changes over here and then declare show object now this function is called over here and it will display the output of all these two displaying statements of float value and the value stored in it and the double value and the value stored in it so we will go to the run button run program dot java and over here we will select the run as option and then press the java application we'll press ok so you can see the output in the console section that the float value is 10.1 whereas the double value is 21.2 so viewers that's all for today in our next video we'll discuss more programs about learning float integer float and integer mixed together and more about the data types programming in java that's all thanks for watching <laughs>